Hey friend, so it's Wednesday morning. Um, don't worry, I look a bit disheveled, but uh, uh, it's under control. <laughs> so we are filming Tahidi, and I'm just coming on here to say I unpacked on the same day because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> but it's been good so far. I'm just feeling so sleepy today. I don't think I'm fully rested since I got back from Tanzania. I'm just not yet completely completely fully rested but it's okay i also slept quite late yesterday i'm trying to change i'm trying to to improve my sleeping habits so let's say i hope to, today i'll be able to sleep a bit earlier i'm trying to get like at least seven hours of sleep because i've noticed when i don't get enough sleep i'm very unmotivated to do things like completely completely unmotivated um I don't know. Things just don't work properly in my head. I don't want to do things. I want to give up on everything just because of sleep. So I'm thinking, isn't it better to just improve my sleeping habits? So that's what I'm aiming for. I'm also looking to lose some weight. <laughs> just kidogo too. Because, you know, um, for like the past two years, I've been very, very... No, I'm not stressed anymore, but I used to be very, very stressed. And that contributed to me eating to make myself feel better and then i gained a lot of weight especially around my tummy so i'm working towards that too and building healthier habits like meditating like a daily practice so that's what i am doing in this season of my life and also growing my hair <laughs> i got home what about an hour and a half ago and i've just been checking my youtube stats <laughs> let me tell you these stats can be so discouraging so i don't check them that often right now i'm at 2353 public watch hours i don't know when i will get to 4000 4000 watch hours but anyway i'm i'm trying to 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 pace myself and to stop myself from constantly checking the numbers because it can be very discouraging i started use youtube for the art <laughs> not for the money all right so it's just here chilling um it's cold i don't know why i'm not in a sweater it's because i want to go do dishes and then work out you remember i said i want to to lose kilo weight even if it's one or two kg it's not that much not extreme at like 20 no i'm not heavy <laughs> i'm not that heavy it's just that my fat has been going to the wrong places so what i've been doing nowadays i only eat two meals like breakfasts and breakfast i've been eating like a what do i say like a proper balanced meal greens vegetables protein carbohydrates i'm not i'm not you know i'm not leaving out any food groups at you not taking carbs or anything i'll show you tomorrow morning i'll show you tomorrow morning so don't worry so um i remember i mentioned when i was starting this vlog that um i was from tanzania but the Tanzania vlog will be edited at a later date. <laughs> You'll watch this first and then at a later date, we will, I will edit the Tanzania vlog. So for now, I just want to go do some dishes, do some exercise, cook, eat, sleep early. That's that's the schedule for tonight. I want to be in bed by, by 10. Let's see if we'll hack it. It's now 6.34. Let's see if we'll manage to do it. Yeah, I've also decided I won't be doing the silent vlogs anymore. I don't think it's working. <laughs> and I don't enjoy them as much as I enjoy talking to you. So I'll just keep doing what sort I've been doing. If it works, it's fine. If it doesn't, at least I enjoy it. At least I'll get that much. This vlog may not be very long, but we'll see. It may just be uh a day or two it won't be very long but we'll see we'll see yeah so let me let me get busy it's, did i see what time it is it's 6 35 now <laughs> yeah and yeah yeah before i leave i'm really really loving my hair oh my god i don't know what madness was in my head that had made me cut my hair for one year anyway i was going through a time a rough time 
and it was what was suited at the season but i'm so glad to have her again i feel so feminine i feel so good i feel really good <sighs> small joys in life <laughs> anyway <laughs> i'll see you in a bit don't mind the angles friends <laughs> I don't have a tripod that can go on my countertop, so I'm improvising. Anyway, so I'm here cooking. I'm just chopping some onion, not every day chopping wood. <laughs> I can't make any more dishes dirty when I have such an early morning tomorrow. So a new development, uh, my shower is not hitting water. <sighs> so now look, Jamsha Maji, today we are boiling water. Today we are boiling water. I was not mentally prepared for that, I was just even myself to get like a warm a nice warm shower you know hey bana hey kuchemsha maji is not part of the plan and then when i have such an early morning tomorrow that means i have to wake up a bit earlier so that's nikuje nichemsha maji kwanza as i get on with the rest of the morning activities definitely not part of the plan and it's an added cost that i hadn't planned for you know buying another shower head because the landlord of this property uh, won't buy so i have to replace it my lord this is this is adulting adulting one one so my onion is chopped uh, you've already seen me cook a hundred times before right i don't need to show you the whole process now i've just chopped onions so i just want to put the chicken which is still frozen I don't know if I even I even want to defrost, but I'll I'll see. Then I'll we'll cook to end it. Chicken is in, so just salt it. It's just onion. The fire is still not yet on. Onion, the chicken. Then I'll add some salt. And nowadays, I'm just obsessed with this spice in my chicken. This is the chicken masala from Tropical Hits. Must, a must have. I just use my ancestors to tell me the measurements. <laughs> yeah. Then I'll just let it steam and then later on I'll add the tomatoes. Whew, thankfully, my shower has been fixed. I was this close, this close. To, to canceling my workout for the day. Any, any minor inconvenience, I'm done. <laughs> so thankfully it's been fixed. So I'm all psyched up to, to do my, my little walk on my mini stepper. Uh, I'm catching up with an episode of TMI. As I do my little walk on my mini stepper. Thank God, this it's a very low impact, impact workout. And I can't say for sure if it helps or if it works. <laughs> but it's good cardio. It's good and it keeps the blood flowing. So after this, I'll just go shower, eat, call it a night. Pardon the angles today. Anyway, I'm all showered. I did my workout 20 minutes on the mini stepper. That was good enough. It's not too much, it's just enough. <laughs> It was enough for today. So, I've just showered. And I'm eating chapati. And my chicken is ready, so I'm having chapati. I only have half a chapati left uh, from the other night. And here it is. Half a chapati. So I'm having chapati, greens, and chicken. So let's plate it. And then call it a night. I'll definitely see you tomorrow morning because I told you. I would show you how I'm eating breakfast nowadays, like <sighs> watching weight and whatnot. But I will never give up carbohydrates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let me plate this food and then I'll catch you tomorrow. Hey, it is the morning after last night. <laughs> and as promised, I want to show you what I'm having for breakfast. It's so nice and sunny and warm can you see how my skin is glowing amazing so i wanted to record in the morning when i was packing but uh, i was running late so i just packed so i'll just show you what i packed 
and you remember we are staying on course breakfast and dinner only no lunch no lunch because i must get this flat tummy whichever way because i'm vain i think we've already established on this channel that i'm very vain and i think i just want a flat tummy for the sake of it for the aesthetics purely purely aesthetics not for any other reason because i eat very healthy so i'm sure my immunity is doing good purely aesthetics vanity vanity and it's fine i'm not harming anybody <laughs> it's fine <laughs> And it's a two for one deal because I'll get a flat tummy and I get to build healthy habits. You see? Anyway, let me show you what I'm having. So, some eggs and vegetables. These are skuma. There's more under, underneath the eggs. I just put the eggs on top because I was in a hurry. You get it. Yeah, you get it. And then this is bread. These are just three slices of bread with uh, just margarine and peanut butter the peanut butter yeah that's it that's what i'm having and then some almond milk over here this is just water so that's the situation and this is the meal for the morning first meal of the day exactly you see that part mm -hmm. it is now home time it is around 5 30 pm I didn't eat food. I only had a fruit. I only had two slices of watermelon and that was it. How am I feeling? I'm still feeling good. I'm feeling amazing. You know, if I can conquer hunger, <laughs> let me tell you one thing that not eating wheat for 10 years did to my mind. It created a sort of scarcity mentality for food in my head. And I was constantly thinking that if I don't eat right now and I, if i don't eat a lot i will get hungry so it created that of sort of mentality in my head so i've had a very complicated relationship with food uh, now that it, looking in retrospect now especially now that i've started eating wheat and everything it's like you also need to still eat a lot because because why that's where i'm at because why why do i need to i don't need to anymore so um forming new habits as I search for my flat tummy, <laughs> so it's as I said, it's a two for one thing. But I'm glad at least I was able to catch that. That oh, I was eating too much and eating all this because over the years I'd created a scarcity mentality as far as food was concerned. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but we're conquering things a day at a time. So it is home time. I'm feeling good. I've just been taking what I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling. I'm feeling great so this is definitely sustainable missing a meal won't kill me and food is abundant if i don't eat now even if i don't eat dinner i'll still eat tomorrow because food will be there there's no scarcity of food what we're trying to eradicate is the scarcity mentality everything i need will and is being provided at all times i need not worry i need not worry so I guess I'll see you later in the evening because I suspect I'll get home at around 9. I want to see how I'll be feeling then. So I'll update you then. So I got, I am back home. I'm already showered. It's around 10.30. It's late. But I, I, I had anticipated this that I'd get home late. So I'd be sleeping a bit later today. Um, I managed to get through the day without having lunch. And to me, Quite honest, lunch is not a very big meal to miss. <laughs> you will survive. And I'm surviving. I'm still good. I was able to come. But let me tell you something about missing lunch. Huh? Every corner you turn, there's food. Every corner you turn like this, there's food. Delicious food. Mostly junk food, but there's food, yeah? So I was just taking what I got home. I managed to do my 20 minutes on my mini stepper. Showered. I'm feeling amazing about to I'm about to have a meal. I'm about to I on my way home I bought some chapati chapatis. So I'm about to have like like what I had yesterday, like half a half a chapo with some cuckoo and some greens because I still have that. That's what I have left over. Yeah, and the thing about being hungry all day is always the temptation to oh my god, to feel like you want to overeat. But I constantly need to remind myself that there'll be food tomorrow. 
all right i don't need to eat like this is the last meal i will ever have on this earth i don't need to eat until like i'm too full just until i stop feeling hungry there'll be food tomorrow because i live in a in an, in an abundant world and god always provides that's the thing god always provides i know i don't look like a big person and i'm not big i i feel like i think i have a small frame still but in over the past two years i was working in a not very conducive work environment so i was coping with food so every time you've had me complain on this channel about being unhappy it was all related to that yeah and there are times and i'm not i don't use drugs <laughs> i'm not i don't partake in alcohol like that like alcohol for me is associated with joy joy it's a good time it's a thing i do when i'm having a good time not so much anymore but you know you get it so i was coping with food because food was felt like the most benign thing to me at that time and it was really really accessible with the least side effects but in the process because of the stress and everything i ended up getting on top of uh gaining weight like all over my body a lot of it was being stored around my thumb area also because of the stress yeah so i was using food to cope so sometimes i'd be crying and eating at the same time and over time i was just eating and not crying just repressing the emotion but here i am healthier better and um reminding myself constantly that i live in an abundant world i don't eat it that much and i'm not coping with negative emotions I'm, I'm i'm changing my relationship with food yeah i'm changing my relationship with food i don't need to eat to feel good i just need to eat to nourish my body period and sometimes because food is delicious and i still love food to feel good and to, to be happy it's a, it's eating is is, is is a happy thing <laughs> So yeah, so I'm about to eat and I think I will end this vlog here. This was not meant to be a long one. Um yeah. <laughs> so I will end this vlog here. Um this has been an interesting two days and I intend on keeping the momentum strong strong. So thank you for being here and um take care of yourself. <laughs>